Alrighty then. <laughs> That's where we left off. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Zeus decided to be an asshole and end up uh, putting each of you in a very traumatic and damaging circumstances. Man, I'm going to hell. But fuck it. At least I'm not going alone. Either way, this was the uh, Hera and the rest actually do find Izugu. They do find Aphrodite there too. Sadly, they see that Aphrodite is sleeping and Izuku is in the corner. You can just imagine. Yeah, they know what happened. Izuku is shaking right now. Hera does want to comfort him, but as soon as she doesn't even get close to him, he, he smacks her hand away. And then when it comes to the Festus in Hades, Izuku's it's just more comfortable with them. This is just looking at Aphrodite. Oh. I, uh. Izuku, I. I'm sorry. If I hadn't lost my keys. What? I, I don't even know why she was here. I, I don't know. She was drunk. Yeah. How would you? This is when Dionysus shows up and sees, oh my god, what happened? Seeing Izuku being floated by she sees Oh my god. Oh my us. What? They. Did she? I. Oh. Damn it, Zeus. Zeus? What did he do? He. He. Uh. Mom, what did he do? He orchestrated this. What? Yeah. Zeus. Fire fist his keys. And the wine. Hey. Why why would he no. Because he doesn't like you. Vestas? Wait, what do you mean he doesn't like me? He doesn't like you. He's a go. It's because not only are you taking more after Hera, it's because you're not one of us. What? <sighs> what? You're not a god. It... What do you mean he's not? Listen. We are gods, boy. But you are not. But I. Maybe like this. Yes, you are stronger and more capable than any regular human. But that's mainly because of the training, your upbringing. You see, 
one of the reasons why Hercules was so strong was because uh, Hera, unbeknownst to her, knowing that it was, you know, she didn't know it was Hercules at the time, but yeah, she breastfed him. That was true? Yes, and I am still upset with Athena for tricking me into doing it. Heck, I almost didn't give you the same courtesy. Oh, you thought, yeah, I thought you might have been one of those bastards again. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, I... Wait, if I'm not... Oh, okay. But just because I'm human is not a good reason to... Well, you also are taking more after me. You have somewhat of more of a moral compass than Zeus. For one, you believe in fidelity. And two, you don't believe in punishing people just for talking shit. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh yeah. That's right. I. You see? You don't even act like a god. And that's a good thing. Seriously, for me, for him to put me through, yeah, I don't understand what he was thinking about that either. But, we can get through this, right? I, I, I'm not sure. If anything, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a sabbatical. Oh, okay. Sure, take take all the time you need. If you could just walk in all way as Aphrodite finally does wake up, wondering. Ugh. Oh, where? Huh, this isn't my bed. Huh. No, oh, this is Izuku's bay. Oh my god, wait. This is Izuku's Where is he? Everyone just looking at her. I didn't. You did. You, you really did. I, 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 I didn't mean to. It was... I... I wasn't even near his room. We know. We know it wasn't your fault. Zeus did this. Yeah. Yeah, that tracks. That that makes sense. Of course, Zeus would want to pull a prank like this. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, prank. You consider this just to be a little prank? Yeah, me just waking up in Izuku's bed. I... <laughs> yeah. Good job, Professor. Excuse me. 
who are you to seeing the anger in the eyes of Hera I didn't just stay in his bed did I no no you did more than that That boy may never be the same again. You still think it was just a prank? I... That... That... Her just looking around, seeing the aftermath. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, 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 I, 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 yes, you do advantage of a sweet young boy. I, I really didn't mean to. It was, yeah, we know it was Zeus. Won't you ever say it was just a prank? It's obvious Zeus did this on purpose. Now that boy is going to need some supportive people in his life. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a, a bit different for him, isn't it? Being immortal. Well, his body can heal. That's easy. What's wrong is his mind. Though he acted like he was fine, something was definitely wrong. I tried so hard to make sure he turned into a respectable young man. Well, there is a way. What? Yeah. Just have him bathe in the same place you do. What? Oh, come on. As many kids as you have with Zeus, you really expect people to believe you're a virgin goddess without a certain something to... Right. Forgot all about that. It's just part of my everyday routine. I didn't reconsider that. But just because he, just because we can take away what you, you did for him physically does not mean we can get rid of it mentally. That that's going to take something stronger. Hmm. Hades. How? Potent is that river of yours? Which one? You know, the one we use to, to you know, forget everything. Oh, well, it's pretty potent. All you gotta do is take a dip and then ugh, who knows how much you can really forget. I mean, yeah, it's one thing for. Like, wait, you really want to just wipe his memory of that tragic, traumatic night that he spent? Defenseless? Yes, I would love to do that. Like, uh, Hera, I don't think that's a good idea. Why, why not? Why wouldn't it be a good idea to make him 
forget and never have to think about one of the most traumatic experiences in his life. I see that you want to help, but just making him forget and renewing his body is not change what happened. For all we know, with Mr. Zeus, he can make it worse. <laughs> really, how, how so? How could he possibly make it even worse? Well, we got to you know, some that hooch before. And I forgot you can't turn down the drink. But she's not the only one who can be susceptible to, you know, the wine of Dionysus. You really think you'd use someone else? Oh, I have no doubt in my mind. If anything, he could use pretty much anyone and everyone. Yeah. I understand what you mean, but I just can't help the one to make this all go away. You want to overthrow Zeus? You just didn't expect to care about your champion. Yeah, you're right. I didn't think I'd care. What do you do? I was wrong. What's so funny about this? N nothing. I just didn't think you could really be this motherly. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. I know I haven't been the best when it comes to being a maternal figure. I know I have a temper. A, a temper. It's was one hell of a way to say that you really don't like your husband cheating on you. Well, no, of course I don't. Seriously, if I had my way, we wouldn't even be married to begin with. Uh, right. Seriously. Your brother's such an asshole. He just likes it, being in control for some reason he likes flaunting his power. He just had to end up being the strongest out of all of us. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. But you still have to worry about Izuku. I know you still want to overthrow Zeus and I gotta say I'm all for it he's gone away with way too much really yes if anything it's time for he actually uh Suffer some consequences. So, Izuku needs to burn the remains of the Orpheo Taurus, right? Good thing I finally know what he needs that damn slate for. 
But, great thing, I don't think he's in the right mind to use it. If anything, he, he needs time to himself. Last thing he needs is a, a reminder. And as I mentioned, he does now know that he's just a regular old human with one hell of a bone, considering he stayed with us for so long. Hmm. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Any ideas? I said give some space. When he's ready to talk, we'll talk. Just keep for day away from him. And hope everything will turn out alright. Meanwhile, because of Izuku, he's pretty much pacing the floor and uh, trying to forget what happened to him. This is when he, he runs into Athena. And Athena, obviously, knowing something's wrong, can't help but cry. Upon learning what happened, Izuku not only somewhat finds a little bit of comfort with Athena, uh, but also Athena's like, Zeus did this, huh? <sighs> what are you going to do about it? What? I mean, are you gonna confront him or are you gonna. What can I do? Mm, good point. I mean, you haven't gotten your godly powers yet. Yeah. I know I'm human. Oh. Oh, 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 thank us. Finally. Ugh, pretending that you were one of us is just. Yeah. Exhausting. Really? Like, oh, yeah. Do you have any idea? Eh. Yeah. Anything. You don't seem as dumb as Odysseus. Well, come on, I've told you that story so many times. Oh, right, right, I remember. Ugh. He was very promising, and then he decided to show mercy to the wrong adversary. Exactly. Seriously, you were, you were home free when it came to that damn Cyclops. How could you just fumble? Your whole advantage of him not knowing your name. Seriously, that whole calling himself nobody, that was just genius. But then he had to get over confident and couldn't keep his mouth shut. He doesn't, he, he doesn't just stop at saying his actual name. He actually says Ugh, his whole kingdom. This, that's just, uh, granted, he, uh, never mind, if anything, so, what are you going to do? I'm going to, yeah. Where fish wise started. Really? Even though I may be moral, I know there is a way for me to gain the power of the gods. The one thing you certainly is it's not gonna be easy. So 
would you be so kind as to help me? I'm listening. Zuru has a plan in which he trains like hell, but instead of under Hephaestus and Hera, Athena is going to be his mentor. And as good as that might be or sound, Athena, she is not the most coddling S type when it comes to training anyone. One thing Izuku has to learn is to be ruthless. He cannot be allowed to show mercy to anyone unless he wants Athena to give up on him outright and walk away. So that's what he does while he's training with Athena, starting to keep himself from being more compassionate and empathetic. He doesn't ask questions. If you're the enemy, he doesn't hesitate to finish the job. Let's just say, uh, if, it, if he was there <laughs> around with uh, Polythemus, yeah, Polythemus wouldn't have survived. Wouldn't have gone off with just a uh, eye stabbing. Because at the end of the day, even Izuku thought Odysseus was very foolish in letting, you know, both he must live. Even though, technically, compared to the other Cyclops, he is the child. Which, all things considered, he is the way he acted when he. Some intruder showed up and, yeah. He understands, like, if you weren't going to kill him, at least keep your mouth shut. Because he definitely knows the power of a name. The danger that comes with just throwing it out there. So, you can imagine that just so long to be being trained so harshly with Hephaestus and the rest, having someone who is, it, she's technically not really just a gossip with them, but also war. You see whose analytical mind matches very well with hers. It's really just, you trying not to be such a sim and roll when it comes to combat he starts to see his mercy is nothing but a hindrance weakness that could get you as well as everyone you care about killed those are lessons that Athena is drilling into Yuzuku's head and even though yes Hephaestus does see this being somewhat of a issue. Hero sees it as Izuku trying his best to cope with a dramatic incident. It's when they do confront Zeus for his complete and utter their disregard for Izuku's well being, mental state. Is when they really do start to hate him downright because he brushes it off not as a prank, but as heck, what's the big deal? Hell, he got laid. That's he should be thanking me. I don't see nothing wrong with what I did. If anything, I'll. 
Yeah, he should just man up. All things people would usually say when it does happen to a guy, no comforting words. No, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Nothing. Zeus pretty much says, what's the big deal? He's a guy. No, it's not as serious. Oh, how tragic that actually is. So you can imagine Hera, I was hearing this. They're pissed. Because it's one thing for Zeus to be completely and ultimately one of the worst bastards when it comes to morals. Yeah, completely disregarding what he's done. It just sees it as not a big deal considering the traumatic experience that having to Izuku. Uh, Ares gets in on this now. As far as he's concerned, yeah, he drugged Aphrodite who then forced herself onto Izuku. To those who don't know, yes, though, uh, Ares is a god of war and everything. He actually prevented someone from getting assaulted. He's actually seen as somewhat of a hero to, to women. You know, being very protective. So him learning about this, he's pissed now. And you can imagine, the god of damn more is pissed. So he looks for Izuku just to see the kind of ruthless training that he's going through. Though, yes, he is all for the brutality, the beautiful bloodshed. He's also concerned. Because he notices, yeah, Izuku's putting a lot of of emotion to this. Though Athena did tell him to close his heart to his emotions when it comes to the fighting, Izuku is putting his emotions on full display with how brutal he is. Like I said, if Ares, he's a, okay, that's Okay, that, but still, you might need to tone it down a bit. Athena, she says, eh, he's just going through the motions right now. Here he is, of course, like, nope, you were gonna, we're going to have to have a little chat right now. If nothing else, we need to have him calm down actually process this not through violence last thing you need for your commander to run into a seemingly hopeless fight and end up getting everyone killed he needs to be level-headed he needs to be able to think on his feet be adaptable when it comes to his situation what he's doing is Venting his anger, his frustration, his feeling of helplessness, and that is not the best way to do that. He needs to talk to somebody. Yeah, if you're not going to do it, I might as well. And this doesn't go over so well when it comes to Izuku, though. He's, he keeps trying to blow off Ares, saying how he's just training all these. When he's trying to make it so, when the time comes, he can do what needs to be done. 
So, what does Ares do? He grabs a sword. He says, okay, let's talk. You want to fight me? No, I want to talk to you. But this seems to be the only way you're going to be willing to talk. So, come on, boy. Let's talk. As swords are clashing, Izuku is full of openings, which Ares does take advantage of, causing cuts around his neck, his ankles, you know, shoulders, even his middle stomach. Izuku, after getting cut so many times, he actually falls in. So, you should learn to listen, boy. I need more training. Well, yes, but also, I can't ignore the problem. Correct. I will gather everyone. We are talking about this. Athena, of course. Okay, fine. If you think actually talking about it would help, I see no harm in it at the moment. When they do end up gathering all the gods that Izuku is quote unquote cool with and sees as somewhat of a support system, he does clam up pretty damn quick to a point where you can just tell that he he knows he wants to talk about it but he he can't so of course Hephaestus goes first then Hera Dionysus and finally surprise guest Aphrodite the only thing is when Izuku sees Aphrodite he jumps he gets more defensive his guard is all the way up like he's ready for battle everyone notices this Hera <laughs> It's completely taken off guard. And Athena seeing this is like Okay, maybe my methods weren't the only thing he should have been doing. Of course he, he, he started to ask a whole bunch of questions like why is she here? It only takes I say 10 minutes for him to actually calm down somewhat. He's still clutching his sword in his hands, but at least he's lowered it to the point where Aphrodite he doesn't feel like she's about to get jumped. His therapy session does end up helping Izuku somewhat. It's really just the fact that, yeah, he's been through something that just doesn't go away. Something that's hard to really talk about. But at the end of the day, him balling up all his emotions is not a good outlet or solution. Him training himself to death sure as hell would uh, be more of a hindrance. But knowing that everyone does care about him, especially Hera and Aphrodite, he does feel more welcome. And this is when he does finally come to a conclusion 
that Zeus needs to be taught a lesson. Hera, of course, she's all for it. Before she goes all, yes, let's get this bastard mode. Hephaestus and Ares do, do let her know, like, we need a plan. You can't just go up against Zeus. Try that before. And remember what happened last time. Yeah. I can't put... I can't punish him. For him being... Yeah. Unfaithful. And what did you do afterwards? I took my anger out on his lovers instead. Exactly. So, we need an actual plan. The last thing we need for, for Zuku to walk up to Zeus and try to square up. God knows what will happen. If he actually does get to live after losing. So, Suku, do you have a plan? Yes. Somewhat. I need the Ophrey. The Ophrey of Taurus. I need to find its remains and burn them. Okay. Okay, that's that's definitely a plan. But there's a problem with it. Say you even do find it. It was meant to give the Titans the edge. What? Think about how powerful Titans were. And luckily, due to the gods having their, you know, boons with Hades, his helm, Zeus, Thunderbolts, and yada yada yada, the Titans were going to use that ritual to give them the power to overthrow them. And they were. Technically stronger So what you're saying is if you do this you may gain godly power But the only thing is you don't know the full extent the full You know boost you'll get You're going to think of something else just in case what you get isn't enough. And yes, after a large time of a uh, brainstorming, they've come up with a plan. Zeus, though he is all powerful, he can't do everything. Otherwise, what use would the other gods be? So, if anything, as soon as Izuku does get his new godly power, he's going to need to train it. In seclusion, somewhere where Zeus wouldn't be able to go. First, yeah, they did try to say, why not go uh, into, you know, Nix's domain. Izuku, though, thinking it's a good idea to... She's someone even Zeus doesn't want to screw around with. Good idea, but no. Eh, too risky. Mm, what about... Wait. Athena, do you remember where you found me? Yes, yeah, somewhere in the bushes. Anything else? Well, I did have to go to a different reality 
Excuse me? Yeah. You'll be surprised at how many warriors you'll find that aren't even from here. What? Yeah. Okay, no. Let me explain how you came about getting here. Here. First, I was looking for powerful warriors, of course. Someone smart or or rarely is technically inclined, or just plain raw power. I couldn't really do that because there were actually a lot of options here. Explain. Okay, from what I can tell, your original world is a world full of quirk. What do you mean, like, they're just people with weird things that they do? No, that's the power that they call... That's what they call the power, at least, that you may be able to get. Really? Yes. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. So, what was mine? I don't think you got one. Really? Yeah, if anything, you seem to be workless. What? Are you saying I'm from a world where people have powers called quirks, and I just so happen to be quirkless? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's just not fair. What about parents? I, um, I did say I found you in the bushes, right? No. Yeah. Are you saying I was... Yes. You were... Um, <clears throat> abandoned as an infant. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Why? Maybe they thought you were cordless or knew you were cordless or. That's, that's, that's not fair. Can't help the way I was born. That doesn't give them a right just to up and ditch me just because I didn't turn out the way they wanted. How monstrous parents would do such a thing. <laughs> What's wrong, Ephesus? <clears throat> oh, 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 oh my. Oh my, you! Oh, oh, right, right. Oh. I, I forgot about that. Hera just looking and blushing. Okay, my questionable parenting tactics aside. Yeah. Why are you bringing up your homeland? That's where I could go. Because... Even though, yes, it may be godly power, power is still power. It can still be considered a quirk as long as I don't overexert myself. That'd be a great place to train. Zeus won't give a damn to begin with, so you can just tell him, eh, he just, well, training or whatever. As far as he knows, I'm not doing anything that he would not approve of. You want to lie to the king of the gods. Is that apparently what we're, we've been doing this whole time? Fair. I still am surprised that you're worried about being killed by him. I mean, you are, in all intents and purposes. Yeah, I get it. 
technically I am invulnerable, but that doesn't stop you gods from getting hurt, now does it? Fair. Fair. Hmm. And, uh, that's a very good point. So, that's the plan. We, uh, we can just drag Zeus. You burn the remains of the Orpheo Taurus and you go home to train. How, how long do you plan on being on? Until I feel like I'm ready to overthrow Zeus. Oh. That could take a long time depending on the power you acquire. Yeah, yeah. But it'll be worth it. As long as we don't have to worry about Zeus coming after me. If anything, he has no reason to, considering that asshole decided to pull such a... <laughs> oh, I really want to be there. Wait, I can't think of it. Can you guys die? Uh, huh. Um, wait. Can we? Then looking at Festus is. Uh, I mean. Considering the things that we've been through. Killing. Killing us would be possible? But not without some real effort. So, it's possible. Yes. Huh. Interesting. Wait. Maybe we don't have to kill him. Huh? Think of it like this. All we really have to do is make it, make it so uh, he can't retaliate. Make it sound so easy. I'm listening. Heck, you remember Typhon, right? Yes. That is a battle that Zeus lost first time, correct? Uh huh. Oh, oh. Yeah. If anything. It seems like you guys can't really regenerate unless you have the parts that were, you know, hurt. <laughs> You're right. It actually makes sense because when a Typhon first fought Zeus, he tore his tendons and Zeus needed those things back before he could actually go in for a rematch. Interesting. What the hell? Why did I didn't, why didn't I think of this before? Uh, hair up. No, 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 seriously. Really, we probably could have made a truce or something with Typhon. But still, we, we could have. We could have been rid of Zeus. Ugh. Man, should have thought that when we decided to overthrow him that one time. I think I just chimes in and said, yeah, that, that, when that happened, it sucked. Everyone looking at her, you have no right to talk about anything. This thing happened to you. He didn't punish you. Ugh. He probably just scolded you. He made so not only could we not overthrow him again, at least 
Not directly. But it's because of him that I end up brutalizing and torturing those poor women. Huh, <laughs> yeah. You, you, well, yeah, you're not wrong. Ugh. But then again, we... Considering who you want to use to help best a job? Good point. That's a very good point. Yeah. Sometimes it surprises me just how loyal some these creatures can be to Zeus of all people. Yeah. And that's another problem too. Their loyalty. Hmm. What are you gonna do about that? Hmm. Well, let's see. Gaia did create the giantess. The giants and whatnot. Because of Zeus, you know. You're right, but what's that got to do with it? Gaia could get her help to convince the Hecatonkeries, the Cyclops, and so on to either stay neutral, stay out of the way completely, don't offer any aid to Zeus, or to just draw them to our side. If anything, it'd be great if they, they're on our side, but worse come the worst. Yeah. Have them be nothing but bystanders would be our best bet. I already know how well Zeus and Gaia's relationship are now, but it's worth a try, don't you think? Are you really banking on possibility, as slim as it may be, that Gaia really hates Zeus? Well, think about it. She must have some, you know, grievances, grievances considering everything she's done. By far, I know she can't really be Zeus's number one fan. Who is his number one fan? <sighs> and then there's the Titans. What? Yes, they could be very good allies as well. W what? Think about it. Kronos, Atlas, oof, man, didn't we convince Kratos? No. What? Why not? Kratos is literally a god of power. He was one of the first actually side with Zeus well on Nike she could give us an edge you know being the gods of victory you're not wrong but convincing her is not gonna be easy no, you're right if anything we should just worry about me getting that power and seeing what I can really do after I get it. Yeah, so when are you gonna be moving, moving on up? Now, if anything, now that I have a Griffin, it's gonna be a lot easier to get there. Except for one thing. I'm going to break its bond with Zeus. 
Otherwise, he's definitely going to be knowing what I'm going to try to do. And that will be a real pain in the ass. So, anyone else how to do that? Everyone looking at <laughs> Fences? Did you try just being nice?